This week, we've been bringing you our new segment highlighting great people and great things going on in our community. From the Coca-Cola Southwest Beverages Porch, you'll meet artists, nonprofits, and hear about great events that make this such a great place to live. Let's send it out to Robin on the Coca-Cola Porch. Hey, Rob. Hey, and I tell you what, get your calendars ready. A lot lined up in Oklahoma City over the next few months. Joining us this morning, Danielle Dodson with Downtown Oklahoma City Group. Boy, it's always exciting uh, as we get ready, even going into winter, springtime in Oklahoma City. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. We're excited to be here. Well, we've got a lot of excitement here coming up. Tell us a few things kind of on tap that folks should be kind of eyeing. Yeah, well, we just wrapped up downtown in December, but we actually still have the ice rink going on at the Miri Garden. So that'll be there until February 4th. Okay. Um, and so you can skate there right at the Miri Gardens, right across the street from you guys. Did you see David Payne ice skating the other day? I did not. That's uh, incredible. Yeah, that was something to see for sure. <laughs> All right, so that's still open. What else is coming up? So next up is February 8th. It's our Chocolate Decadence event. This is a fundraiser for Historic Automobile Alley. So it's a tasting event that has chocolate and wine. Um, and it's a huge party that we throw at Leadership Square. So don't miss that. And tickets are available now. That's the big MLK parade that will also yep. be coming up. MLK is... Um, happening on January 15th and that's down in the downtown area down, coming down Walker Avenue and it ends with a huge celebration at Myriad Gardens. What else uh, should folks kind of uh, put on their calendar? It seems like our calendars get so full but you, you can't miss these great events. Yeah we have one more great event coming up in February. It is in Midtown. Um, this was a new event last year. It's called 10 Buck Lunch Week. It's February 19th through 23rd um, and it is a way to encourage all the downtown employees and downtown residents to get out and try something new for lunch so over 20 different restaurants will have ten dollar meals um, and so you can try something new every day that okay week. for 10 bucks that's yeah. the deal of the day it sounds it's the like deal of the month for sure yeah for sure and then always the arts festival is such a big thing i know they're already taking applications for artists and vendors to be coming they are and april is like our favorite month because that is the time to be downtown with the marathon with the festival it is just a beautiful time to be in downtown what else do you want folks to know uh, about your organization so we are uh, people a lot of people know us for our fun events that we do but we also also do a lot of essential services for downtown. We have a downtown green team um, and they provide clean services and homeless outreach. So you might see them in their green truck or their green jackets and picking up trash. Um, that was a initiative that we launched in March of 2021. And so we're really excited um, to have them. Actually, we're coming up on our two year anniversary. Sounds there. good. Danielle, thanks so much. Don't forget you can follow downtown OKC on all social media to yes, keep up with everything. And we'll be linking information on our website, news9.com. Lacey, back to you. Hey, if you have a great event coming up that you'd like to see highlighted on the Coca-Cola porch, send it to us at news9.com slash porch.